Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations live here from Capacity Europe in London 2023. Uh, we are coming at you live from the Peninsula Ballroom, um, and we are speaking with uh, global leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. So we're actually closing out our coverage of the conference today with Diego Tiata um, of Retalita. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you said it correctly. Thank you. Okay, perfect. He is the head of wholesale for the company. So we're really excited to chat with you today. Diego, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yes, uh, I'm uh, uh, leading the wholesale uh, in uh, Retlit. We are uh, an Italian, uh, I would say, uh, Southern European based mm. operator, thanks to our infrastructure and network, uh, connecting Europe, Middle East, uh, Africa, and of course, Italy. Excellent, excellent. So and of course, Italy is one of the most important markets in Western Europe. Um, and so I was hoping that you could give our audience a bit of overview about what's driving the growth in Italy. What is uh, Redalit's uh, role really in, in driving that growth or helping to, helping to uh, accommodate that growth? Okay. Uh, if you look at the telecommunication mm -hmm. growth, of course, that's mm -hmm. our, uh, our business. Uh, um, telecommunication growths follow the ancient road uh, of commerce uh, and Italy has been uh, by its geographical position has been positioned uh, as uh, <clears throat> a connecting uh, platform mm -hmm. between north south uh, and east and west in the middle of Mediterranean uh, so uh, there are in fact uh, Italy is also the fifth or the sixth largest economy in the world so if you are looking at what is driving uh, the growth in telecommunication uh, we can see two main directions. One is uh, internal, so the internal demand of enterprise, consumers, public administrations. And the other direction is, of course, the role of Italy as a, a platform for uh, transit uh, uh, the telecommunication service east, west, north, south. Mm. Uh, Retlit, uh, in fact, is addressing either these uh, uh, growth direction. Mm. The internal uh, the internal growth is addressed through our enterprise market. So we have a large uh, product portfolio going from the cloud uh, to, of course, network and telecommunication services that is marketed to the enterprises. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, what we call uh, we are we are leading a digital transformation of mm -hmm. uh, our uh, uh, countries uh, to a. Uh, mirror the digital world and that's mm. what we are doing day by day with the enterprise going to what uh, i i like most uh, that is the wholesale mm -hmm. uh, we are supporting the role of italy as a platform between east and west uh, with the key uh, components or bricks mm. uh, that are needed what are infrastructure conduits fibers uh, data center and uh, uh, the services connecting mm. uh, or making uh, all of these uh, uh, physical component uh, marketable uh, and uh, ready to serve uh, the wholesale market uh, mm. that in fact for us uh, are the OTTs, uh, the national and international carriers uh, and we also are provider of US federal government. As you know, uh, Italy has a large uh, US presence again mm -hmm. because of its uh, geographical uh, position. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's an excellent overview. Thank uh, you so much. Just one point that mm -hmm. I forgot. Uh, Retelit uh, as a group uh, is now the result of Retelit plus Irideos that our Asterion fund purchased and are now in the process of creating a unique entity and a unique organization. Mm -hmm. And one of the key assets that we gained uh, from this uh, merging uh, is uh, Avalon. Mm. Avalon is the most interconnected campus in Italy, Southern Europe, and probably Europe, where we facilitate the interconnect of at least 180 networks and also the Milan Internet Exchange, that is the largest in traffic for the Southern Europe, is collocated and connected, is collocated is wrong, sorry, is, mm. is in the same campus connected to our infrastructure. Got it. That's really impressive. Yeah, that Avalon campus. So, like you said, one of the most interconnected in Europe. Um, and and you've talked a lot about the um, Retalita uh, uh, network. And so, can you dive a little deeper into the backbone? Um, fully 400G enabled. So, how will the region really benefit from that investment that you all are making in your infrastructure? 
Okay, so <clears throat> when we talk about the backbone, backbone is more than 400 G, but given we are at capacity Europe, uh, and uh, during this capacity Europe, uh, we launched the 400 G uh, mm. product and services uh, for, for Italy. I believe it's worthwhile to have a, a focus on the 400 G capability mm -hmm. of the network. 400 G, we are not the first, mm. but we are uh, in the pack of the first adopter of this technology. 400 G, uh, is enabling uh, a more efficient uh, transport uh, cost per bit. So this means that every bit of IP content television that you transport uh, costs, I'm not saying one fourth, but cost for sure less than 100 G because uh, for uh, each 100 G you have one card, one mm -hmm. port, uh, one cross connect. So this is uh, a for sure uh, a large uh, mm. jump uh, in uh, uh, cost per bit reduction. Mm. Uh, this means that having a 400 g platform uh, within Italy, uh, one of the first, uh, mm. helps and drives investment uh, or presence for carriers, especially carriers that are not uh, the number one OTT or the number one uh, global carriers, uh, in our country because they find an environment where they can afford a, a large transport infrastructure mm -hmm. without bearing all the costs that are associated like ELA lighting or, or similar. Right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Um, and, and your team also works with customers on really tailor-made um, telco projects. I love that, tailor-made telco. Um, so what do you have on the horizon in that regard? Okay. Uh, yeah, we traditionally were mm. very tailor-made focused. Mm. And uh, if, if I can, if you beg mm -hmm. me pardon, I would say that uh, now we are less mm. tailor-made than in the past, meaning that thanks to our experience, we have transformed the tailor-made project, such Spectrum that we have launched now with uh, Retina, to a standardized products uh, mm. addressed to the carrier markets. Say that our uh, capability of understanding the customer needs and designing uh, tailor-made solutions uh, is uh, still uh, one of our key assets. Uh, what we have on Horizon? On Horizon, uh, uh, our tailor-made uh, is applied uh, to the key component of infrastructure. So we are uh, trying to get the most of the existing infrastructure thanks uh, to the, our uh, uh, historical relationship with infrastructure carrier in Italy. Mm -hmm. We are improving uh, uh, the resilience, the overall resilience of the system, uh, connecting the new data center that are uh, built in Italy. There are many now in Rome, many in the outskirts of Milano, mm -hmm. and this is one of our specialities. So creating uh, a network infrastructure, either high fiber count, mm -hmm. conduit or capacity in order to enable the new data center to be connected to the fabric of the country. Mm -hmm. um, we are working on identifying, building and supporting new landing point for cable system. This is also thanks to our experience uh, in uh, the landing of uh, India Europe Express in Savona, that is uh, an unusual point in Italy. Mm. And we were the first in Genoa landing the to Africa, building an ad hoc uh, large landing infrastructure in terms of transport because the uh, data center is Equinix in this case. And uh, so we are using this experience uh, and looking at different landing points on mm. one side. On the other side, uh, uh, on the other side, sorry, it's not the right word. Uh, we are trying to market Bari, mm. that is the landing station of the A1 that we overbuilt mm. as a ready-made point for other cable system. Mm. Uh, the other point that we are going to explore uh, is uh, the edge, the edge data center. We have a large number, if I'm not wrong, like 34, 35 data centers that are not hyperscale, but uh, uh, safe nest, let's say, for a carrier with uh, good air conditioning, good power, but for sure they are not the tier four Equinix or hyperscaler. And uh, uh, with the correct connectivity and uh, um, the proper positioning, I believe that these data centers are very well uh, 
attractive mm. for the new needs uh, for of the markets. Mm. Sample is uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. You need distributed power, distributed mm -hmm. computing, uh, close to where the uh, AI is consumed, and this is uh, one. Uh, one of the point. Yeah, you just hit on a bunch of the, the keywords, e edge AI. And of course, Italy is such a critical market um, in Europe. And, and uh, you know, we've been hearing so much about it um, in the digital infrastructure industry. And Rezalitza is so, so uh, interconnected and, and, and bringing so much critical infrastructure throughout the region. So we're really happy to have the chance to chat with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Candice. Thank you. And thank you to our viewers for hanging out with us here today on JSA TV. Happy networking. Thank you.